So what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Money Mark coming at you guys in another edition of the Drop Alert Podcast. And today we're going to discuss, this is going to be a very quick video, we are going to actually discuss social media shops. Social media shops. Now, I had a video called Dub Don't Get Scammed. And one of the things I did talk about on the Don't Get Scammed series was, of course, buying from the social media marketplaces when it comes down to shops vis-a-vis Facebook. Now, recently, I just copped a pair of, of course, the 1080, the Charles Barkley 1080 Olympic joints. Now, this was copped off the beater source, off the beater page, essentially. So, of course, you're gonna have some mild imperfections here at the bottom. You got a little creasing on here on the toe box. But, guys, I bought this $40. $40, $13 shipping, really he honestly, he honestly wanted $50, essentially. The uh, shipping label was already created, so obviously, whatever. But guys, I don't think you can beat that value at all. And honestly, this was just an impulse buy on for 4th of July. <laughs> for 4th of July weekend, I wanted to have a different pair of sneakers, essentially. I didn't really, I couldn't find a pair of the Olympic Jordan 7s. So that's what I originally was looking for, but I settled for the CBs. Guys, um, primarily, one of the things I wanted to kind of cover in regards to this is primarily the tactics that I use in Shirts to Verify. Now, first thing first, three quick tips. Number one, always ask for pictures. Ask for pictures. Ask for additional pictures, especially when you do the initial message. Primarily, the Facebook marketplaces can be a little weird. Um, it's kind of hard to understand, you know, if the product's there, so on and so forth. So sometimes it's just good to just ask the questions and ask for additional pictures once you've agreed to purchase the shoe. Um, I was very adamant that we use PayPal. The seller that I was working with essentially understood that we had a great, good understanding. The reason for PayPal is because PayPal basically acts as a digital receipt. Essentially, once you process your purchase, especially if you do an active description on the PayPal purchase, I made sure to make, I made sure to specify exactly what pair of sneakers that I was buying, essentially. So just in case there's no descriptions, just in case I get a pair of like, I don't know, um, <laughs> some Wish sneakers, I just wanted the ability to make sure I fully specified what pairs I was buying and I made sure that was listed on the PayPal site. As well, one of the things I often did is I asked for multiple pictures. I wanted to ensure that I saw it from multiple angles. The reason I asked for that, because you wanna make sure that you, any imperfections that you may see, you know, you understand fully what you're getting into, basically. Um, for myself, a value of $53, just to do maybe $5 worth of additional paint, it was a no-brainer. Honestly, when, I, when these first dropped, I wanted a pair of these, and I couldn't get them. It was, I was broke college at the time. So super awesome that I get to pay, buy these for a fraction of the cost that they were. I believe they were like $200 essentially when they were released. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, with these three quick tips, and now I know some of you may be like, the common sense, buy it on PayPal, the ask for pictures, so on and so forth. The thing about it is this, the, the, the unfortunate thing about oftentimes these social media marketplaces is the fact that this is a rush, oftentimes a rush buy. Rush buy, I would say. Um, oftentimes you're just trying to beat the clock. Now, you know, this is, it's not necessarily an auction based um, purchase, but oftentimes these are in, people just posting images and then taking inquiries in the inbox. So you, oftentimes that sense of urgency has made a lot of individuals go against their greater common sense, purchase something that was food gaze or get scammed. Essentially, Always make sure you trust a go with a trusted payment vendor or whatever the case may be. Oftentimes, you know, if you do end up getting scammed, asking for your money back from your individual bank oftentimes can lead to the result that, that, that you necessarily are looking for. Essentially, most central banks will, of course, process a refund if you get scammed in this regard. So check your payment method. Make sure you ask for multiple pictures. You don't want to have like a big gash on the bottom sole or something like that. I always ask for multiple pictures so you know exactly what you're getting into. And, um, you know, never trust your first gut. If someone's acting shady, if someone's not necessarily giving you accurate tracking, um, you know, report their ass and, and the ass and, um, and the purchase. I made sure to have a lengthy conversation with the person I was talking to. I got a good feel for him. Um, he sent me the tracking immediately. He already had a tracking number ready. And yeah, we were good to go. 
So guys, those are my three or four quick tips of just surviving the Facebook marketplace. One of the reasons why some people are saying, why would you even deal with it? It's kind of whatever. But guys, you there's no way you're gonna find this shoe for $43 in this condition. You're just not gonna find it. You're not gonna find it on eBay. This, you're not gonna find it. And that's the reason why you see most individuals jumping on these social media marketplaces because you honestly can hit pretty big, pretty quick. Oftentimes you get these, I'm running a yard sale, I need to get rid of this, my foot is blah blah. Individuals, I broke up with my boyfriend, revenge scenarios. And that is a sneaker heads dream. Dream. All right, guys, with those tips, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. It's your boy, Money Mark, signing off from the Drop Alert Podcast. Peace.